reading, writing, and arithmetic. And of course, that all-important fourth R, the arts. Today, we're going to spotlight the arts in Tyler ISD. You're going to get a chance to hear from teachers, students, community members talking about the fourth R. You're going to hear some great performances as well. So just sit back, relax, get ready. Here we come with the fourth R. My name is George Faber. I'm the Director of Visual and Performing Arts for the Tyler Independent School District. It's our pleasure to present former Tyler ISD student, Mr. Demarcus Walker. That was Isn't She Lovely by Stevie Wonder. Correct. Why Correct. did you pick that piece? Well, I picked the piece because uh, I, I wanted to dedicate it to my daughter, my six-month-old daughter. Um, you know, Stevie wrote the song for, right. for a baby. Right? Was his right. daughter? Was yes, his daughter? for his daughter. For his yeah. daughter. Aisha. So when we left the hospital, that was the first song I played in the car for my, for my daughter. That's the first music she heard. <laughs> oh. So I wanted to dedicate that to her. And then also my, my wife and my mom and, you know, 
all oh, the yeah. women that are lovely in my life. <laughs> Isn't yeah. she lovely? Yeah, that's that's a great tune. Now you are Tyler ISD alumni, correct? And you went to what schools? I went to Orr Elementary, Dixie Elementary, Stewart Middle School, and John Tyler High School, and I graduated from uh, the University of North Texas. Outstanding. And not only did you graduate from North Texas, because see, I graduated. <laughs> Thank you, Lordy. What did you graduate? I graduated summa cum laude. Say, see, see, I don't even want to talk to you, man. I'm kidding. It's, it's over. It's over. Now, that's, that's great because a lot of people think that musicians are pretty much uh, just uh, musicians and that we really aren't very academic. And that's, that's sad, stereotype. That's, that's right because most of, most of our musicians in schools are usually the most uh, academic and Correct. usually are making the highest scores on SAT, ACT. That's right. Uh, the, the tax test, star test are usually our musicians. So I, I want to applaud you for continuing that. Uh, talk to me about a little bit about what, what caused you to get into music and what kind of kept you, moved, motivated you on? Well, my, my brothers, my brother and my sister were in the band at John Tyler. Um, and when we were little, they were playing the tuba and uh, my nephew and I, we just naturally went into to band. But we also started in church playing the drums. Actually, before drums, we were singing. My nephew and I were singing in church. And um, then we started playing drums, and, and then the tuba and the bass, and then the piano came on. Um, particularly, you know, I'm going to kind of testify in a way, uh, when I'm talking about middle school, what really helped me, you know, find my identity was, okay. was having music. Um, and I, and I'm, I'll be transparent if it helps someone else, is that in middle school, you know, a lot of students at that age are finding themselves. They're right, trying to see right. who they are, where, where they want to fit in. They want to fit in the crowd or where they want to be. And, you know, when I got there uh, to Stewart, you know, uh, I, I tampered with that type of finding myself and, and getting into, you know, crowds and things that I naturally wouldn't be involved in. But just because you want to be accepted, everyone wants to be in the crowd or popular, you know. Right. So uh, I made the decision, the hard decision, a tough decision then in middle school that I was going to be DeMarcus. It doesn't matter if you'd like it or not. I just want to be me, you know, because when I'm at home, I act a certain way. I wanted to stay me. So um, I made that decision, and I will tell you, it was the decision of, of a lifetime because most people are trying to find themselves. Even adults don't even know where they are and where they true. want to be. That's true, that's true. Um, so once, once, I, once I found that music was the outlet, music was the place that I could just be myself, and just express myself. And uh, I mean, I'll say that that decision, any students that are listening, if you make that decision to find yourself and be, your, be yourself, irregardless of what other people think, it may not be um, the most comfortable thing. There were nights that I cried. I'll just tell you straight up. And I'm, you know, I'm all masculine. But there were nights that I cried because you do want to fit in. But thanks uh, that I went and found myself and, and, and went in the direction that I did, he, I was able to go to UNT and graduate at the top of the class. I did not pay any money to go to UNT. I made money to go to UNT. I didn't pay one penny. And I also want to thank the Faulkner Scholarship, who was a great, great, <laughs> great, great, great uh, resource great. in that. But, um, but yes, that decision has allowed me to perform with Professor D now while I was in high school. And check out the band, it's uh, ProfessorD.com and DemarcusWalker.com. Uh, I also got to perform with, um, uh, uh, with the uh, Dallas Brass while I was in college. I got to perform at the iTech International Tube and Euphonium uh, Conference in Tucson, Arizona. Oh, on and, 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 cause, cause he's going to keep going. Let me tell you, how many years did you make Allstate? Uh, uh, two years straight. Let me tell you, <laughs> making it one time is hard enough. <laughs> to make it twice is even harder. And, and so I want you to know, uh, incredible musician in high school, really put himself out there. And I can even remember when we were at All State, uh, the directors would be sitting back there. When other, all the other All State players would be out, you know, lock, gallivanting around, DeMarcus would be up there practicing. And all those guys <laughs> were going like, man, that guy has got the discipline. He is going to make it. He's going to be at the top. And, and can I just say one other thing? I, I know that for youth maybe listening to this, that you all, we always hear the phrase hard work pays off you can be anything you want to be but it is it is it is completely true in anything that you get involved in in life anything whether it's football music whatever anything you should give 100 percent 
of yourself to it because in my endeavors with all state for your for students that may be trying to make it and then when you get there and you don't make it that year and you get discouraged and you go back and you may not make it mind you the first two years I didn't make it um, and I kept trying to see what were the things that I needed to do or, or where was you know and and what I found out was that when I got to my junior year, when I gave absolutely everything and left no excuses, I'm not saying be a workaholic and, and never take a break because you, you, you do need to still take a break. But when you leave out of that room and you can say, I did my absolute best, I, if, if I make it, great. If I don't make it, great. If you can say you've done your absolute best, you don't need to be mad at yourself. You don't need to be frustrated at yourself or sad about anything because that's all you can do. And, and that's not only for music, but that's also for athletics. That's about right. math, science, social studies, In anything. anything. That discipline is so important. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. We, we could talk probably all day. Oh, we, yeah. yeah, we, we do. We do. We talk all the time. Yeah. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take you to, through. We, 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 we have a song that we want to do for you. We're going to come back and we're going to jam. You need to stick around for this because we right. just uh, kind of I, I He was good when he was in high school, let me tell you. <laughs> but let me tell you now. You heard him just a little bit, but let me tell you, we gonna lay it all out on the ground for you. See, when you y'all stick That's around right. and come on back and check That's us right. out uh, when we do this little jam called Mr. Magic. Hey, we'd like to do a tune for you now uh, that is a very special to us called Mr. Magic. And we had a friend named Todd Henry who was, in our opinion, Mr. Magic. And there were several others that uh, we all played, Abdu and Montreal, and there were so many other guys that we played with. Oh, man, Oliver. Yeah, boy, we had a great time. This is one of those songs that whenever we got together, for some reason they always said, hey, can we do Mr. Magic? So we're going to do this one for you. Hope you enjoy it. Mm. 
Thank you for watching The Fourth R, our spotlight on the arts of Tyler ISD. We appreciate you for sitting there and just taking a few moments to learn about The Fourth R and to also listen to our students, teachers, alumni, and community members. We appreciate you so much for allowing your children to be a part of the arts of TISD. Please, if you'd like to know more about performances, go to your campus websites or the District Visual and Performing Arts website to get more information. Also, like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. Remember, reading, writing, arithmetic, and that all-important fourth R, the arts. Mm -hmm.